A while ago I bought this Crux tube for around 50 bucks on AliExpress. It came with a cheap plastic stand and I thought it deserved better. So at least a wooden base plate and a stand. Since I don't have a wood lace, I converted a candlestick made of polonia wood into a stand for the tube. I still had a nice piece of oak wood lying around in my workshop that I could use as a base plate. To make it look more antique I used a router with a suitable bit to cut a gradation into the oak wood. Here you can see the high voltage generator that I used for the Crooks tube. According to the data label the maximum output voltage is 10 kV with a maximum current of 100 microamps. The output voltage can be adjusted via a tiny potentiometer. Since I still want to stay alive for a while and want to do more high voltage experiments in the future, I bought a high voltage probe. It can be connected directly to a multimeter. The ratio is 1000 to 1, which means that 1000 volts of high voltage are displayed as 1 volt on the multimeter. But with the best will in the world, it was not possible to set an output voltage of more than 8000 volts. However, it was time to put the whole thing together.
When I switched the device on, nothing happened at all. However, I quickly found out that it was a capacitance problem and helped myself with some aluminium foil which I wrapped around the glass at the cathode. The aluminium foil forms a kind of Leiden jar. No, not that kind of Leiden jar. This one. The Crookes tube contains no fluorescent paint. The electrons, which move at a speed of up to 60,000 km per second, hit the glass walls of the tube and excite the atoms in the glass, making them give off greenish light. The residual air in the tube glows pink when it is struck by electrons. Fantastic! Of course, the electrons can also be deflected with a magnet. By the way, the radiometer was also invented by William Crookes. Thanks for watching. Stay true, stay you.